Hey guys, it's Revenger2 here from Hornetzilla Gaming. Welcome back to the Hive. Let's break into this stash house and let's see what we're going to get up to today. Kick down the door and let's go see what goodies are in the safe for me today. It just went low. Okay, here we're here. Well, a grenade will probably solve this solution a little bit Shut faster. Uh, one guy. Alright, that one should be more effective. Alright, two or more. Alright. Two have left. Tap, tap, tap. Alright. Those are those down. And uh, so today, guys, we are going to be selling all my MC businesses. All my MC businesses are full. Uh, Document Forgery is full. Cocaine is full. Weed is full. Counterfeit cash is full. And meth is full. I'm selling solo. I know there's better ways to do this than solo. I can add friends and whatnot. But I, you know, need, need some friends to join me. So... If you're interested in joining me on my grinding excursions or just playing the game, you know, feel free to add me. You know, you know my PSM. I see it all the time. So let's take what we got and let's head out into the video. See you guys there. Okay, guys, we're in the document forgery office. This is the first MC business that we will sell. Um, the document forgery office is the worst out of all of the MC businesses. Um, if you can, you can steal the supplies because buying all the supplies, you won't make that much profit off of. Um, even with a big sale to the county or if your office is located in the city. And if it's located in the county, it's up to the city. All right, let's see what we got here. We got boats. Boats. Is a relatively easy one. Just drive your boat from point A to point B. So I'm going to cut out my flying from the... Well, I'm going to speed up the clip from, from the office to the boats and talk to you. Um, hopefully, during these missions, we don't get... Um, to get the post-op vans. The post-op vans is the worst out of all the missions because they're so slow and... Theoretically, you can finish all of them if you are really good and really fast about it. But it will be cutting it very close. But recommending you have at least two people in your MC if you do that. Um, the boats, like I said, they're easy. Just drive them to the checkpoints. And there will be a little bonus if you are able to... A 3,000 bonus for each boat if they're able to deliver within... A certain amount of time so gonna hop in here all the boats are at catfish or cat claw i don't know why i said catfish um they're at cat claw um by the marina down there straightforward you know get a boat as you see there's a checkpoint time each checkpoint has its own variable time use r1 or the right bumper or right trigger i don't know which xbox is forgive me but use the button that will be R1 on the Xbox or whatever handbrake is for a PC to make the boat turn sharper and will allow you to make the turns faster. And pull back on the analog stick and that will make the boat go, go faster, but it will bounce the boat much more. So there is a trade-off, so be careful. Um, so if you make, make it through all the checkpoints and don't and you hit the checkpoint time, you're able to get an extra 3,000 per boat, which will overall increase the the, well, the money you get at the end. And obviously, if you want, you can sell these in private sessions, you know, crew sessions, friend sessions, invite-only sessions, or if you're really risking it and doing, um, uh, doing public sessions. But please note that if you're going to do this, have three people in the boat while a fourth is guarding those three um be wary of orbital cannons so if you are grouped up that's probably a bad thing so you know probably not group up as much let one boat go and another person gets in another boat and then so forth and so on 
Um, if some of your product is destroyed, quickly close your application before the, the sale is complete. Or if it's the last boat, close the application before the game registers it being complete. So then your product will be returned. You have another time to do this. But players, you know, generally don't really go after them as much anymore because, you know, people try not to because it's not worth their time. But if you do have some people who are wanting to just ruin people's times, then yeah, just close your application as quickly as you can. Um, some missions do require all four members, will, will require four members um, of the MC. So if you have a large MC of five, that'd probably be the best. So I just skipped ahead to where I returned to the second boat, set, set a boat, and it's pretty much the same thing. So these clips are speed sped up, you know, go from point A to point B. I'm doing this solo. It is taking a lot of my time and energy to do this solo, you know. So please, if you're wanting to grind with me on PS4, um, hopefully soon PS5, uh, add my PSN. You know, I'm always looking for new friends to play with, you know, people to join the crew, you know, and we can uh, sell together and we can definitely have fun. Um, the offer is open for anybody, you know, we'll, we can play in public sessions, but, you know, public sessions are just really toxic nowadays. Uh, it's not really worth it, you know, jet griefers, god mode griefers and whatnot, but the game is about having fun and selling things, you know. But, you know, it's neither here nor there. I think you're able to play the game how you want. So if you want to add me, add me. You know, my PSN is Revenger 2. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, it's up to you whether or not you want to play. Um, so, like I said, final boat mission, you know. And I, so far, I have made all the checkpoints on time. It's just, this is a fairly easy... Check, check these are fairly easy checkpoints to get to so so let's uh, go ahead and see what we can do here to get through these waves sometimes the waves can be an issue like I said if you're press pulling back the boat will go faster it's not as fast as the boat's going in the clip because the clip is sped up but the but if you pull back on the stick, the boat will go faster and because there's less boat in the water. However, if you hit a wave, your boat will start jumping more, which will cause you to lose time because you're well, not in the water. It's common sense. Um, but, you know, this is fairly simple, straightforward, same time as a private boat, uh, closed crew session. Um, would I tell in a, a public session? Of course. Of course I would. Um, would I do it just to have fun with of course to see if someone will come after me yeah maybe but uh, here we go closing on the final um, the final uh, checkpoint here plenty of time on the checkpoint timer and let's see what we get from the sale we get 175,500 not really worth it I think document forgery should be increased like a lot more because it's the worst business and it's really has no place but you need it for the nightclub and unfortunately if it's needed for the nightclub to produce all the goods then you really can't really get rid of it um but other than that so we're back so we're back we're heading towards the weed farm the weed farm i have is right next to the highway here in grape city sandy shores area on union road you know it's the best location for we because it's right there on the highway so you know let's get get, get let's get into to it and let's sell these bales of weed you know which are fairly large hopefully once again no post op van preferably i want the the semi the truck one truck then that's it just drive to point a from point a to point b you know that'd be that'd be fantastic hopefully we'll get the truck we'll see my workers are lazy doing nothing and when you go into your business, sometimes you might need to restock. Restock it first so the goods are producing while you're doing the missions. Um, so once this mission ends, my well, once I start the sale, my workers will be finding me more product. I wish there was a way to improve their reply or like boost their rate even more. Because with the Asset Lab, yes, you have your standard rate and whatnot. But it seems like 
the asset lab asset speed is a lot better than the weed producing speed uh, for the professional has done all the stat works on that so if you want to go to his video i will try to find that video and link it so we get motorcycles uh, motorcycles are a good event you know obviously your bikers right um so drive the bikes from point a to point from point a to point b however the issue is there are four bikes so you have to come back up here three more times once you deliver this bike um majority of the bikes are like th like two to three miles away so, so the last one can be anywhere from four miles away it just depends at random locations throughout the city because i'm in the county so i sell to the city um but considering these bikes where did all those bells of weed go did we didn't is it one in each luggage carrier i mean so yeah i'm gonna speed the clip up and uh, go forward because you know the bikes just a simple drive it here drive there um mission um yeah pretty much you know this is the one where you'll need four people to get this done the fastest you know everybody hop on a bike or four out of five of the you guys hop on a bike because your mc can hold up to five people and then while the the fifth one is doing overwatch or protection if you're in a, a public session and you'll gain 50 percent more of the value of the sale you'll get 50 percent like half of it added on to the end of your sale due to you being in a full pullet session so yeah just drive from point a to point b and don't hit any cars don't flip the bike and don't destroy it so most of them are pretty simple except for this one this one's hidden in the driveway and it likes to point you around the corner so just make sure you're going into the correct driveways and whatnot all right and we're back to the bikes again get the furthest bike away from the business and line and you know repeat you know, rinse and repeat rinse and repeat rinse and repeat um i wish there was a more easier way there to do this i mean there probably there was with the avenger glitch of putting these bikes in the avenger or a or a titan itself and then you know driving the titan to the drops but you know unfortunately rockstar was like no you can't have fun I mean, but that was in between the time that I took a break away from GTA and it's been back. So, yes, I am trying to do my try still trying to get to 250 million at least or to a billion before GTA online ends and we GTA 6 is released to let you guys know. Yes, I will be playing GTA 6 when it does release. I'll play the story through the story that will be recorded for you guys and yeah so and then we'll play gta 6 online which would probably just be called gta online 2 um there's probably no difference but you know i think at the end of the day you know i want to try to get to 250 million or a billion depending on how much longer gta online has seems a bit iffy because i feel like this update uh the first dose update has been slow and slow and steady which has been expanded over for like over a month and a half and since it's that long you know it seems like they are starting to run out of ideas but who knows you know who knows what's after this um hopefully next week or so and in the next two weeks uh we get the second dose part to to that story and hopefully dax isn't as annoying because dax is one of the more annoying characters in the game um, I think, you know, that's why when you complete his full again missions, just don't ever talk to him again. Just do your acid lab stuff and do that. So driving on the highway here, going to the third drop, you know, it's at the ammunition. It's the ammunition here. And uh, yeah, it, it's pretty much, like I said, go to po from point A to point B. Um, just don't drive your motorcycle into anything that would blow it up i know my uh, oppressor mark ii hasn't reached its respawn time yet so i use my sparrow to get the back so back from from there hit the regina you know regina's are you know 
the more useless vehicles, but they can also cause you the most pain because, yeah, they're slow and you think you can beat them, but you can't. You think you hit them. All right, so the last little bit of the weed cell is coming up. Okay. And there's another variant of this one. The other variant is you're carrying the motorcycles all to one point. However, the the motorcycles are at the one point is to a undercover sting operation, and you have to get rid of the cops. Fortunately, I didn't get this one, get this this cell this time, but I did. I have in the past, and it's quite annoying because not only you have to lose the the cops, but your entire MC has to lose the cops. Uh, it's just a headache. And Lester, you know, Long John T, oh, LJT, is Lester, by the way. Uh, he won't um, really help you, per se. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen this mission, so I don't know if, you, if he, he will allow you to call the cops off with him, with Lester. So don't quote me if I'm, you know, if I'm wrong, but, you know. Anyways going to the final area go this way and don't follow the gps take this little shortcut jump down off this road and uh, the, it's up here up to the left there but you know once again the gps is going to take you around to so just loop like that and drive straight in so weed is not complete there are five mc businesses in total we got a grand total of three hundred and fifteen thousand dollars on this one because no high demand bonus so weed has been successfully sold next will be this will be counterfeit cash counterfeit cash is up there in most probability it, cocaine math and counterfeit cash are the three most profitable um so try to sell those at max as you can once again, hopefully no post-op vans. Even the trash trucks I can do in 30 minutes. So you get a grand total of 367000 for selling this. Uh, you'll probably get 50, 50, half of that you know, for selling in a full 30-player lobby. But, you know, watch the professional videos. Like I said, he will break all this down. And, um, yeah. So once again, it's the motorcycle. It's, hey, you know, drive here, point A to point B. Um, so let's get to it. When you're leaving this area, you know, just make sure you're taking the appropriate route. This drop off is behind the building. So you need to drop down and come around the building here. So I cut majority of the trip out because it's really not necessary. Um, you just drive from point A to point B. It's just like the last cell mission from, from, from the weed. They're back here at the counterfeit cast. Go to the back of the line. Yada, yada, yada. Point A to point B. Funny enough, this is what made me more interested in motorcycles, you know, driving these. I like motorcycles. When you leave the counterfeit cast, go straight because most of the time you're going towards the city. So drive straight through this area right here and you'll be able to go onto the road and then back into the city. You go. Go into the van or to the brigade lockup and uh, yeah. Fly using the Kasatka because Presser probably wasn't ready by that point. It never really is. Um, I'm more of a sports bike type person myself. Uh, these chopper style, Harley style bikes aren't really my thing. So, um, three out of the four bikes are delivered. But yes, motorcycles, you know, in real life and in game, are a big thing of mine. And I really hope to own my dream bike someday. So, here's to hoping, and um, here's to finish off this last cell. This one's 4.2 miles away. Let's get there and let's get it on like Donkey Kong. Like I said, just go on this way. This one's down by the docks. This is one of the furthest points that it can be. And go into the pounder here or whatever type truck it is. I really don't have time or effort to look this up. 365500 That's a good haul. Um, it is very good to get that money. So at the end, I'll give you a grand total of what all of this produces in one ginormous cell. 
I can guarantee you it's over 1.8 million. So now we're gonna sell our fourth business, which is the meth business. The meth business is one of the second is the second highest business that produces. Um, follow and the most most profitable is the cocaine business. However, cocaine and meth take the longest to produce, and it takes more su full, full supplies to do so. It's, I think it's like two and a half. I do believe full supplies it takes. So this is two hundred ninety seven thousand base. So we'll see. What we get when we sell to Los Santos. Remember to always resupply before you go. $446,250. So let's sell them to there. Like I said, I didn't resupply here. You can do it at the master control terminal or at each individual terminal. But, you know, you, you'll see. Hmm. Alright, it's the boat mission. The boat mission is... It's just like the other boat mission from the from the document forgery, so I won't speak too much about this one. I will cut out my trip there. I will cut out majority of the, the speed up the sale because you know you've seen it before. Um, um, this this boat sale mission is a little bit more difficult because of one of the areas you can go around this dock or go through it. You know you can't fit through it. I chose to go around because you have plenty of time on this first. Um, First sell, first checkpoint, I should say, sorry. You know, first checkpoint, it's the second checkpoint that is a little bit more strenuous with your time because once you hit this checkpoint, you don't have that much time. So you need to turn around fairly quickly to, to, to get to the next checkpoint on time because it's in this logo and you cannot beats this dinghy or if you beats the dinghy then you lose the amount of product that you had left so this one only gives you like 35 40 seconds to get to this checkpoint like i said pull back on the stick make it go faster hit by the feet of the waves it will slow you down luckily i get it here and i have 50 some odd seconds to get to the next checkpoint which i see in the distance it's very doable as long as you're you know, just trying to get into the water as fast as you can. Um, so, this 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 time there's no incident with not making the timer. It's the second and third time going around that there's incidences. As you see, I'm at 100, 121 million. So we'll see what we what we have when we get done with this as well. Okay. So. Go ahead and you need to find an area where you can call your presser or your sparrow in and to fly back. I go over to this little island, bam, bam, thank you, ma'am, and back at the boats. And just, you know, rinse and repeat, you know, go from point A to point B. You know, I went through it here, so just so I can show you that you can do the, do the on the side of the dock and, uh, yeah. But, you know, doing these missions, they're peaceful, they're relaxing, especially when you don't have a jet that's trying to blow you up or, or a Mark II oppressor. You know, it's finally nice that they're able, we're able to sell in these sessions, but also quite mm, boring, I guess, that, you know, most of, you know, people play still in public sessions, but they only sell in private and, you know, with me, you know, not having that many friends that still play the game is, you know, it's fine. As you see there, I didn't make this second check for enough time, so my money did go down. My delivery bonus is now 2700 Um At the end of the day, it is what it is, and money is just money at this point, you know. And there's nothing really that big that I need to spend money on in, in this game, you know. Like, when I originally started playing this game in 2013 when it was first released. And back then, we didn't have any money in Mikey Nocturnes like that. We didn't have businesses. We didn't have highs. I am from a time where we had to rob convenience stores and do rooftop rumble over and over again. Until Rockstar changed that too. Go figure. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you know... Most of the time, you just gotta, you gotta do, gotta, gotta, gotta 
got to play the cards that you're dealt and, um, you know, but yeah, but playing original GTA online from 2013 up all the way up until the first little bit DLC, which was the heist DLC, there wasn't much to do, um, so we had no way to make money. But now this has changed and all these new things have changed the game and revitalized the game, but most of the, the players from this time period from 2013 to 2015 have moved on, you know, moved on to other games, moved on to their other things, you know, what most of my friends have. Um, I mean, my best friend and I, we, we would play this game for many hours a day and um, we would um, definitely have fun just playing and just taking over lobbies and whatnot and selling, you know, whatever, when we did, when these businesses did come out, the CEO business came out first, and then the biker business came out for that, uh, yeah, we, we did, we did have these periods of this, but we also got bored of the game, we also went through other games during this time, you know, but now, he doesn't play, and, you know, it's, it's like, what can I do, you know, like, you know, but, you know, at the end of the day, we all live our own lives, we all make our own choices in our lives, and I want you guys to know that everybody, whether they're your friends, or your e-friends, or whatever, they will all always share a similar passion if you do something together, and you will always have these memories. Alright, so we completed our sale here, we got $463,050 for this cell mission of meth. And now to our final business, which is the cocaine. The cocaine will be one of the easiest businesses because it's the most profitable, but it takes one the longest to produce. Um, so my workers are busy doing nothing in their underwear. Um, honestly, it's smart because you don't want cocaine or powder substance on your clothes. And it will be in if it was on your undergarments they're easily washable and a cop won't be able to search that if you're pulled over by a drug sniffing dog because they can't force you to take off your underwear or something like that but what i know all right so we got the plane the plane product cell mission which is an interesting cell mission so we're going to speed up going over to um to where the planes are they are dodo seaplanes and these seaplanes they can swim they can fly they can skim along water water sorry i've been talking too much so they skim along water however with the dodo seaplanes here you cannot go above a certain altitude so you need to fly low as the ljt has just said um if you go too high above the top bar for too long as you you're on your altimeter or altimeter on your altimeter you will accrue cops um, you recruit cops and the cops will come after you. It'll be three stars. Um, che always check your map. Always see where you're going. Trust me. I don't do this for one of my cells. One of my planes, I almost missed the drop and I had to turn around. So that's quite funny. Um, so fly low, you know, go along the coast. And if you're in, get into the water, it's get to the water as quickly as possible because like i said these planes can scam along the ocean and water um just you know but hey you know fly you know raining thunderstorms so it's a little bit pushy fly about right in the middle towards the bottom of the line here and it'll go the fastest because you can't go so high um you know Touch the water there a little bit. Don't hit the sailboat, or if you hit the sailboat, you're gonna have a bad day. Okay, as Mr. Mackey would say. So if you fly too high, you'll get that little warning. Don't fly too high. Lower your altitude by LJT. It's an annoying little thing. So we're back at the second plane. The second plane, you know, is once again, you know, the same deal. No fly too high. As Icarus learned, he flew too high to the sun and he lost his wings. That's essentially what we're going for the myth you know so but this instead of the sun and icarus you're a plane 
and the sun are cops and the cops will destroy you um so a little bit of greek mythology reference into gta i don't think that's what they're going for but you know it's a classic um tale you know so i'm focused on these two drops in the city and then i out of the corner of my eye i see this dot this yellow dot past me i'm like hmm, hmm oh nope there is a cell here at the landlocked dam and um yeah don't forget about that one some there's always a dam um cell point i don't know how they got that boat in there and that that's a mystery to me because those boats need to be dry docked i'm flying through the city probably not recommended for newer pilots or flying under bridges but hey each your own you know you gotta you only live once well except here in the game Yep, just make these cell missions and fly the planes back. Or in my case, just run the planes into the water and get my oppressor. So, final plane here, you know, rinse and repeat. Um, now the sky is starting to lighten up. And, um, yeah. I definitely enjoy... I definitely enjoy this time in the game. You know, and re in real life, it's one of the best times to be outside. Um, you'll see why in a little while as I'm flying around the coast. Like I said, just get to the water, fly low. You know, then you'll never hear that annoying beeping sound. Um, so yeah, do a barrel roll or two. You know, I have some fun with it. Um, if your MC president is, if you have four people and your MC president is the fifth, have him in a fast air vehicle and fly in formation and all the planes in the formation will fly faster this is what i'm talking about right here it's called the golden hour of um, sunset and it is the time where it's the, it gives you this golden aura and it's the most magical time even in gta they got it so right and i'm just in awe so it is such an amazing experience you know it's always gives you some good feelings but we have uh, cocaine to drop and uh, yeah so we're almost done here we have three more I repeat three more mother humpers no no I I made a tremors reference sorry um, three more drops and we will be done and then we'll be done with the MC cell so hopefully you know you guys enjoyed the video if you did, like, comment, subscribe for more. Um, if you want to play, play on PS4. Um, my, my PSN is for Avenger 2. Um, you know, we'll grind, we'll do whatever. You know, but, you know, it's good to make new friends. So that is the sale mission, guys. It is 525000 It is the most profitable out of all the businesses. Thank you, and have a good day, you guys. All right, guys, so here are the totals for each of the missions. Document forgery is 175,500. Weed is 315,000. Counterfeit cash is 367,500,000. Meth is 463,550. And cocaine is 525,000. The grand total is 1 million. 846,050. Thank you for joining me.